The war is over, but something is rotten in the state of Eden. With a ragged peace in place, demons burn farmlands, violent reavers roam the wilds, and plague has spread beyond the Black Meadows. The country is on its knees. In a society that fears and shuns him, Aranok is the first magically skilled druid to be named King's Envoy. Now, charged with restoring an exiled foreign queen to her throne, he leads a group of strangers across the ravished country. But at every step, a new mystery complicates their mission. As bodies drop around them, new threats emerge, and lies are revealed. Can Aranok bring his companions together and uncover the conspiracy that threatens the kingdom? Strap in for this twisted fantasy road trip from award-winning author Justin Lee Anderson. So, The Lost War is the first book in the series whose title I don't... I don't remember the series title. <laughs> I feel bad, but my brain is a bit... Mm, yeah. Anyways, so The Lost War is the first in this series. Um, it is an epic fantasy, but also, like, a mystery. And I really love mysteries. And I love fantasies. And when you put the two together, it's it's kind of, you know, gotta be a good time. Um, yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> So this story follows Aranok, uh, who is uh, magic. He is a druid or druid. Um, I don't know what the proper pronunciation is. I know what people in modern days tend to call it, but my Gaelic is really poor. So yeah. Anyways, uh, linguistically speaking aside, um, pronounce it however you like, he is a, uh, he's a magic wielder. Uh, of, you know, various different abilities, and he is acting as emissary to the king. As basically, that means he goes around and performs various tasks with the king's authority. So at this point in the book, he is gathering with a king's council to go and find this exiled queen and restore her to her throne. Now, that's all well and good, but this country has just been through a war. And things are kind of not so good, and Aranok has this obligation to go investigate things off the beaten track, and, um, problems ensue. Yeah, I really can't tell you a whole lot more, because there would be spoilers, and that would be bad, because this book, when you get to the twisty bit at the end, or even not at the end, throughout the whole novel, but the, specifically at the end, I'm talking about that plot twist that happened in the last, like, five pages of the book. Oh, it's just... wow! <sighs> yeah, okay, I really liked it. Um, the mystery in this was very well done. It was subtle, and it didn't dominate the story uh, as you would get from a mystery novel that happens to have some magical elements. This played along with the plot of the epic fantasy absolutely stunningly. I mean, it was woven together really well. You didn't get lost in the clues and the questions and whatnot, but you were aware of them also. It it just... it flowed really well. And the writing itself was quite well done. I really enjoyed it. It was sort of like a subtle mix of... Um, some of the more highbrow mystery that you would get, the Dorothy Sayers, the Loriar Kings, that sort of a thing, combined with um, the magical equivalent of throwing a brick at your head. I, I truly cannot describe it any different than that. It is just very interesting, very intriguing. I was definitely drawn through the entire time. Um, this is one of those books that really pulls you along quite well, and I liked it. A fair bit. Uh, as far as the characters go, Aranok, he's a likable character. I do like him. He's fun to read and he has the sort of idiotic, like, self-sacrificing motivations that you really enjoy, even if you do want to slap him upside the head every now and again. Um, and his companions are all very, very well developed in their own right. They have their own interests and beliefs and uh, ideas and dreams and whatnot, and it's it's very nice. I think Samily was probably my favorite, just because she was she was so confused by like the simple things, and I really appreciate that. I mean, she was not naive 
by any measure, but she was sort of, yeah, that was the whole thing. <laughs> uh, again, spoilers, I can't tell you a whole lot. Um, if I have a critique about this novel, it actually has absolutely nothing to do with the story or the characters or the prose, and it's all to do with the fact that the plot twist came within like the last five pages, and I really want to know what happens next. But, but the sequel is not out yet. If it is, I haven't seen it. <sighs> but I was kind of hoping to like know a bit more. As a writer, I really appreciate the cliffhanger that was done spectacularly well and fit perfectly with all of the clues that were interspaced throughout the novel and it just, it worked really, really well. As a reader, I hate you so much. Ah, uh, yeah. One of those dichotomy things. Anyways, um, that's what I've got for you this week. If you are interested in epic fantasy with uh, plague and magic and monsters and things. This is definitely a good book for you. If you like mystery, this is also a good book for you. And if you are just not quite so sure about that whole mixing of mystery and fantasy thing, do it anyways. It's quite a good book. I liked it very much. Um, yeah, that's, that's all I've got for you. And uh, as usual, all of the links are in the description box below. You can find them there. Yeah, I feel like there was something else I had to say and I totally forgot what it was because that's the kind of day that my brain is having. So I shall just say, have a great day, cause some trouble, try not to get um, too enthralled in causing trouble and, you know, read a book and things, and I shall see you next time. Bye.